So you just created your resume and you put it in DOCX format or PDF file or whichever the case is, and you're about to upload into a particular site say a job portal site and you want to upload it and you realize there's a problem problem is that it only allows a specific type of file and that got you really frustrated because you spent hours upon hours creating a resume and now you're stuck and you have to redo the entire formatting into a completely different document type can we fix that well the answer is yes we can absolutely fix that and i don't mean fixing the document i mean fixing the website So right in front of us, I have OWASP, Open Web Application Security Project Juice Shop. So this is going to be the vulnerable website for us to run all of our ethical hacking tests on. And of course, big disclaimer, once again, hacking is illegal. And if you want to do any hacking, remember to do it only in your own lab environment. Okay, so on the left side, I have the following. So we have a particular area called complaint. So let's go ahead and click on it. And by the way, I am already logged into the website. So I'm logged in with this particular email address called hackerloy at loyliangyang.com. And of course, I know this is a complaint submission, but I want to highlight some interesting things. And of course, it's very similar to how you would be able to get into a website like a HR portal and you want to be able to update the resume. So right in front of us, I'm on my desktop. And of course, as you're subscribed to the channel, you've seen so many different wonderful ethical hacking tutorials and we have so much payload right here as you can see that we have developed for you. And if you see on the bottom left corner, all right, I have a particular file and I spent hours, I spent countless hours creating this resume in order for us to submit into a job portal. So I'll go ahead and double click on it. So as you can see here, this is the resume that I've created. And of course, it has my name, okay? And it has the following statement, okay? The most awesome hacker. All right, how beautiful is this? I really like it. This is a wonderful resume and we will submit it. All right, so let's go ahead and close that now. And I'll go back into the website here and I'll click browse. And I'll go ahead and go to desktop. And of course, I'll go ahead and select on the bottom right corner, click all files. And we have the file right here, loyliangyang.docx. Double click on it. And there's a pop-up. The pop-up says the following, forbidden file type, only PDF zip allow. So that is very disappointing. So what can we do about it? All right, so what we can do is to go ahead and browse, and now we'll instead select a particular file, and in this case, a file which has an XML format, and I'll double click on it. All right, so this would then pass the first screening or the first check. And then I'll enter some message, and I'll go to the top right corner, click on the Foxy Proxy, Click Burp Suite, go to top left corner, go ahead and open up terminal. And now in this case, we'll open up Burp Suite to be our interceptor. So Burp Suite will intercept the request and we're going to amend and make some changes. All right, so that we are going to be able to actually upload our DOCX file with no issue whatsoever. So now I'll click Next and I'll click Start Burp. So now Burp Suite Community Edition is starting up. And of course, you can see under the proxy tab. So make sure your intercept is on. So we're going to intercept all this request going into the site. Go back to your favorite browser that is on the site, and now we'll click Submit, okay? So we have intercepted the post file upload. So do a right click here, okay? We do a right click and click under Send to Repeater. So once you're sending it over to Repeater, let's go over to the Repeater tab. So once we're on the Repeater tab, you can see here on the left side, we have Requests, a Response. So what we are trying to do here is to ensure that we are going to be able to upload the file successfully, getting us a HTTP response code that demonstrates success. So as you can see here, if I scroll down further, all right, all these are the haters that you can see, so we'll leave them as default. So what's more important is actually the content type as well as the file name. So what we can do now is to change the content type from text slash XML. I'll change it to the following, which is application slash DOCX. And I'll also change the file name to Loy Liang Yang dot DOCX. All right, so we are going to send this over all the way into the web server and so that whoever picks up the resume will be able to open up using their, of course, office document. Okay, so here, what we can do now is to replace the content as you can see here. All right, this is the content. So we just have to replace this very quickly. All you got to do now is open up a terminal and all you got to use is cat. So I'll use, for example, CD into where the file is and I'll enter cat loy liang yang dot DOCX. So once I got this here, all I got to do is copy copy it, all right? All I got to do is just go ahead and copy the whole content, all right? So we scroll all the way up and we'll copy the content right here and then we just replace it in the request section. So once you replace it in the request section, you'll be able to allow the user on the other end to receive the file and open up the file, right? So I paste it right here and all I got to do now is in tree, 
two, one, we'll click send. That's it, we're done. HTTP 1.1.204, we have successfully sent it over into the website. If I go over the following, what does HTTP 204 mean? Okay, it states the following, no content success status. It means that indicates the request has succeeded, but that the client doesn't need to navigate away from his current page. It means that we have managed to successfully upload it into the site. There you go. Now you're able to change, of course, the document type. On the other end, not on your own end. No more frustrating changes to all this formatting that you spend countless hours on. Okay, so once again, I will learn something available. And I'll turn on notifications so that you can be kept abreast of the latest ethical hacking tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching.